Dr. Gap show see, with watercolor. I will not be filming your colors because it just takes too long and I figured I want to jump right into it. This segment is on five I'm gonna not introduce the things all together, what I meant, but I'm going to be introducing them one by one. So I'm going to be using crimson and rose from Mary's watercolor paint, and I'm going to be mixing those two. I'm not this time because I want to use color. I mix the white, crimson, and gray together to get this color. And I like to use the other side. But now I'm going to use the other side. Of course, you don't have to do that. And now I'm going to be mixing green, blue, and diamond. And don't forget, you will need to redo your colors a bit more. So you might want to do that. I'm only using like I'm using nine colors, so if I mix a couple, I will get new ones. a big white blot or splotch to your colors or else it will become too light. If you don't add enough, it will become too dark. If you add a medium size that you get the right color you're looking for, unless you were looking for a dark color. This is the color I was looking for. When violet and purple and white mix together, it comes like this. Wait. When violet, white, and curly and blue mix together, it becomes a little bit purple. clean water because you don't want any other colors mixing in the color that you are trying to get in the match.
what you guys do. Again, September 2nd for me. I'm going to middle school now, and I don't think since I have such, um, my school is going to give me a lot of homework. I don't know, but if they do, I probably won't be able to do my YouTube channels as much. So don't be disappointed if you subscribe and you don't see a lot of videos from us because I will be busy with school. Okay, so I'm going to do green. Okay, so I'm going to back. This is what it looks like when I finished the two sides. That looks the same. I'm going to start it in the bottom. And I'm just going to take some pieces more and I'm just going to walk to the middle. So that's how you paint a geometric abstract shape with watercolor. And if you like to see this, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like our videos and 